That is a clear, a clear guarantee. That's promised in the law. That's what needs to be taught. All right, give me um, a Revelation chapter 22. Read verses 14 and 15. Because people who bring forth lies, you ain't gonna be in the kingdom. You know, you you better repent now. You know, deleting all the deleting accounts ain't gonna save you. Covering up your sins and your lies ain't gonna save you. You better repent. Come out in the in public and admit that you have sinned. Alright, and you committed the sin unto death according to the law. And we ain't just talking about one person. That's right. We ain't this, talking about one group either. This, this goes for all <laughs> false prophets. Because in, in spite of what the information that has recently came out, there's been other false prophets who brought forth the same type of false prophecies. A matter of fact, a lot of people brought out that false white 2K policy. I mean, prophecy. It's not just one man who brought that out. He learned that nonsense from those other teachers. They themselves have to repent from that, and they have not. Now there was, uh, I'm not gonna say any names, but there, there was one group, a representative from a group who said they did repent from that false prophecy. And I respect them for that. And the Most High will, will accept their, uh, their confession that they were wrong and, and uh, taught false doctrine. All right? You got something? Yeah, basically that we now have groups talking about a 2012 prophecy based off of the Mayan prophecy. But at the same time, we're talking about false prophets and we just talking about beware of these false prophets that prophesy to you dreams. I'm just warning you, there's a new one coming out about 2012, beware. Okay, and, uh, and uh, are they locked in on camera saying this? <laughs> these, these, uh, this 2012 Oh yes, we got some on camera. Okay, on we YouTube. got them on camera, yeah. so that's a testimony mm -hmm. against them, it would be for or against them. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be against them but uh they'll have to deal with that when the time comes uh revelation 22 verse 14. blessed are they that do his commandments all right blessed are they that do his commandments that's what we need to be concerned with go ahead that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city that's right for without are dogs and sorcerers. Okay, it says for outside are dogs, sorcerers, who else? And whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Wow. Okay? So if you love it or if you make it a lie, you outside the gates, right? You you outside the kingdom. You ain't entering in. The scripture says no stranger will enter into the gates of the city. <laughs> you need to look up the word stranger, because it's not just talking about foreigners. Alright? need to look up these words and start studying. Okay, so all you out there who teach these lies and all of you who love these lies are gonna be outside the gates. All you sideline cheerleaders who are supporting these lies, you're gonna be outside the gates yourself. Because you, you following the crowd or you following others to do wickedness. All right, so you need to man up and do exactly what the Most High tells you to do in His Word. Got anything? Yeah, I mean, that, that pretty scripture says it all. All right, so if, hey, if you're under, under a false prophecy, or if you're up under a false prophet, the law clearly tells you do not sojourn with them. Get away from them. All right, may the Most High bless your understanding. And with that, we'll say shalom. Shalom. I got a bottle in my lap and a couple of ones for this and that. Ain't no telling when I'm coming from.